one of our male golden eagles. Now, golden eagles, there are two eagle species found right here in BC. Uh, you have the golden eagle and you have the bald eagle. Now, you're more likely to see the bald eagle as the golden eagle here tends to be a more shy, elusive bird, but people do get lucky. They do get to see them here in the Richmond area in the lower mainland, and if you do see one, consider yourself very lucky. Now, a lot of people get bald eagles, juvenile bald eagles, confused with the golden eagles. Now, that's because when bald eagles actually first hatch out, they're very, very dark brown in color, and they don't get that white head and tail until around five to seven years of age. So a lot of people tell me they've seen a golden eagle, but remember the golden eagle has this golden feathering on the back of his neck and on his head. Uh, for so. any of the kids out there, he looks like quite a big bird. Does anybody have a guess at how much Aries here might weigh? Any guesses? You can shout it out. 14 pounds, I'm hearing. 10 pounds? You guys are really good, 10 to 15 pounds. Usually I get up, I guess it's up to 100 pounds for Harry's here. <laughs> you might be surprised to know that he only weighs about eight pounds. So he's very light, you gotta remember with birds, they're very, very light for flying. They have spongy or hollow bones as well as thousands of really, really light feathers. So oftentimes their weight is very deceiving. But after a while, he can actually get quite heavy on my arm. Now, another really neat thing with the golden eagle, they like to take out smaller mammals, even larger things. Uh, I've heard that in Mongolia they use them to hunt wolves. Sometimes they will drop goats off of cliffs, so they have very, very powerful talons, and they squeeze with their talons with quite a bit of pressure. I've heard a lot of different uh, numbers, but I've heard upwards of 700 pounds per square inch of pressure so they can uh, uh, squeeze with their talons. So very, very um, powerful talons on these guys. And like our hawks, he has incredible vision, and he uses it to hunt and kill his prey. So an absolutely wonderful bird to work with. Now these guys are the birds that back in medieval days, these were the emperor's birds. So only the emperors or the kings got to hold these birds. But uh, falconry has been around for a long time. We've been working with these birds um, for centuries and they're absolutely fantastic to work with. Very, very smart. So on behalf of Emily and myself, we'd like to thank you guys for coming out and seeing our demo today.